Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here with some huge news about some tiny modules. A few weeks ago, we released the preliminary version of the SparkFun Artemis module for those of you who absolutely couldn't wait to get your hands on it. We were waiting for one final step, and that's happened. The SparkFun Artemis module has now been FCC, IC, and CE certified, making it the world's first open source US manufactured BLE module. It's also going to simplify the process for designers from prototyping through final production, a transition that's always been a bit of a sticking point in the engineering process. We're releasing the certified module itself, as well as on three carrier boards, the Redboard Artemis, the Redboard Artemis Nano, and the Redboard Artemis ATP. The Redboard Artemis is the perfect board to dive into the Artemis module and start learning its capabilities. The board puts the powerful SparkFun Artemis module onto the familiar UNO footprint and offers one meg of flash with 384K of RAM. It runs at 48 megahertz, that's three times as fast as your current UNO, with burst speeds of up to 96 megahertz. There's a USB-C connector for easy programming and a quick connector to make I2C work a breeze. The Redboard Artemis is fully compatible with the Arduino core, but we've exposed the JTAG connector for more advanced users who want to work with higher end tools. It's got 24 GPIO pins, all interrupt capable. There's 21 PWM channels. It's also got 10 ADC channels with 14 bit precision. That means your analog sensors go from a range of 0 to 1023 to an incredibly precise range of 0 to 16,383. You've also got two UARTs, six I2C buses, four SPI buses, a PDM interface, I2S interface, and a built-in Bluetooth radio and antenna. And we've added a digital MEMS microphone to allow you to start working with always-on voice commands using TensorFlow and machine learning. There's even a jumper to measure current consumption for low-power testing. The Redboard Artemis Nano will be your board of choice if you need a smaller footprint, or perhaps you don't need as many output pins as the UNO footprint. This is our little party in the front business in the back board, as it's got all of the buttons, LEDs, and connectors on the front, and it's supporting hardware tucked away on the back. You'll still get the one meg of flash and 384K of RAM running at 48 megahertz with the same 96 megahertz burst speed. It too has a USB-C and quick connector, broken out JTAG connector, built-in Bluetooth radio and antenna, and a digital MEMS microphone for always-on voice commands with TensorFlow and machine learning. This lightweight little legend also offers 19 GPIO pins, all interrupt capable, 8 ADC channels with 14-bit precision, 17 PWM channels, 2 UARTs, 4 I2C buses, and 2 SPI buses. And being of the Arduino Nano heritage, it uses the new tiny CH340E USB to serial chip. This chip needs no external crystal, and since it's an MSOP10 package, it can fit underneath the USB-C connector. But what if you have monstrous plans and need access to every pin available on the Artemis module? Then you're going to want to do your prototyping on the Redboard Artemis ATP. ATP? Yes, all the pins. Just like its siblings, you'll get the usual 1 mega flash and 384K of RAM running at 48 megahertz with the same 96 megahertz burst speed. It too has a USB-C and a quick connector, broken out JTAG connector, built-in Bluetooth radio and antenna, and a digital MEMS microphone for the always-on voice commands with TensorFlow and machine learning. Now listen to these stats. 48 GPIO pins, all interrupt compatible. 31 PWM channels, 10 ADC channels, 2 channel differential ADC, 2 UARTs, 6 I2C buses, 6 SPI buses, PDM interface, I2S interface, and a secure smart card interface. Artemis can be programmed and used with the Ambic Apollo SDK, as well as with Arduino with its Arduino core, making it fully accessible to both hobbyists and professionals. The module also allows the TensorFlow engine to be built into any project you're working with, opening up machine learning to everyone. But even cooler than that, this module can also do machine learning locally, meaning you don't even need access to the cloud to make it work. That way, all your conversations stay between you and Artemis, and you don't have to share them with the world. And Bluetooth communication is a snap. With the module on its own, or on one of its carrier boards, the Redboard Artemis, Redboard Artemis Nano, or Redboard Artemis ATP, you can now create everything from simple BLE projects through to mass scale end products with the SparkFun Artemis. Keep an eye out over on sparkfun.com in the coming weeks as we start building this into more projects to test its limits, and let us know what you're doing with it too. And as always, happy hacking, friends. Used with the Ambic Apollo SDK. Programmed and used with the.
It can, honest. I knew it was something about TensorFlow. And, words, 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 TensorFlow, the module, the module. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the module. Okay, here we go. Apollo? No, Artemis.